three of us. Hoss, 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 listen to this. This is something. This is really something. Joe, my breakfast is really something. If you'll just let me eat it, please. It, it, it says right here, In Inspector Foot of the Yard captured the killer by the red clay he discovered on the murderer's boots. Whew. Pass the egg, will you? Pass the egg. I tell you about one of the greatest feats in the world of criminology, and all you can say to me is pass the eggs? No. <clears throat> I can say one other thing. Pass a ham, too. <laughs> That's a use. Trying to broaden your mind, and all you're thinking about is broadening your middle. Look, little Joe, you broaden what you want to broaden, I'll broaden what I want to broaden, all right? Oh, uh, good morning. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Haas. Good morning, Joe. Oh, good, mo uh, good morning, sir. Sorry. Look, Joe, I've been meaning to talk to you. Last couple of weeks, you've been doing nothing but reading that detective stuff. Joseph, I don't know how many times I've told you. Uh, not, not to read at the table. I'm, I'm sorry, Pa. Joseph, it's not just your reading at the table. It's that every time I've looked at you in the last couple of weeks, you've got your, 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 your nose buried in some detective novel. Oh, just, just that every time I go to put the book down, I, I get involved in another interesting case, that's all. Really? Well, now, I have a very interesting case for you. A, a case for me? Yes. I have a case of horseshoes waiting at the livery stable to be picked up by you as soon as you've finished your breakfast. And I have a deposit I'd like you to leave at the bank for me, too. Oh, so you'd better go into town with him, make sure he doesn't buy any more of those crime novels. Right, Paul. My son, the detective. about Scotland Yard. Hmm. You'd think with a ranch as big as yours, a fellow would have enough to learn without reading about somebody else's yard. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, never mind. Uh, Charlie, Paul tells me uh, you got some horseshoes here for us, is that right? You betcha. All ready to go. Fine. Look, if you'll load them on the wagon and water these horses down for us, I'd appreciate it. Me and Joe's got to go down to the bank. We'll be back in a minute. Have them ready for you when you get back, Hoss. Joe. Well, hi there, Paul. I didn't... Uh... Morning, Haas. Morning, Miss Joe. Good morning, Miss Bessie Sue. Good morning, Haas. I would like to speak to the manager of this bank. You're speaking of him, gentlemen. Tom Barnes, sir. Harry Perkins, until recently a resident of New York City. Mr. George Sims, my associate of many years. How do you do, sir? Uh, come in, gentlemen. Thank you. Well, now, may I help you, gentlemen? The reason we're here, I'm expecting a sizable amount of cash arriving in Virginia City within the next few days. And I would like to open an account here at your bank. Yes, yes, certainly, certainly. I have the new account form uh, right here. here. First things first, Mr. Barnes. I am concerned with the safety of your bank. I've heard and read about the 
bank robberies and the holdups you people have out here, you can understand that I... Mostly exaggeration, sir. I can assure you your money will be quite safe here in our bank. I'll accept that, but for my own peace of mind, I would like to see your vault. Yes, well... <clears throat> um, well, I, I don't know. Your request is rather unusual. So is the size of my deposit, Mr. Barnes. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, no, I can't see that it would be any harm in it. Uh, follow me, gentlemen. I think you'll be quite impressed with our vault. We just installed it a year ago, and it's made by the same firm who makes vaults for most of the New York banks. There you are, sir. The finest steel in the world. and a three-stage combination. The most modern safe on the market today. I have to tell you, sir, that this is the vault held in the highest esteem by myself and my colleagues. Thank you a lot, Miss Bessie Sue. You sure do make banging a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, Joe, will you go solve a crime or something? Miss Bessie Sue, uh, there's gonna be a dance this Friday night at the Grange Auditorium, and I was thinking maybe that... Uh, I'm sorry, Hoss, but I've already had six invitations, but I'll save you a dance. Oh, okay. you that. Did, you that? Did, you, did you see that? Did you see that? Sure did. Ain't she got the prettiest eyes you ever saw? I'm not talking about Bessie Sue. I'm talking about the fellows that went in the back of the bank with Mr. Barnes. Well, what about them? They were asking about the safe. Well, so what? So I just read a chapter in the book that tells you exactly the same thing. These bank robbers come into the bank. They tell the manager they're worried about their money being safe. He shows them all over the place. The next thing you know, they've robbed it. Joe, will you stop all this imagining? Just like Paul said, you've been reading too many, too many of these dang detective books now. Paul, I'm telling I'm you. I'm telling you that we're going right now. Now, Paul sent me into town to take care of you, and that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Yes, yeah, Paul, I'm telling you, it's in. Yeah. I'll tell you in a minute, Hoss. Wait! Stop! So, oh, been reading too many books, huh? Come on, let's go. Oh, 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 hold it, Hurry up. Get out of the way, Charlie! Get up, Dwight! You all right, brother? I don't know, little Joe. I reckon I am. Oh, good. Burn it. We had our chance and we missed it. Well, it looks like you're going to get your chance again because them two desperados is coming back. Sorry to have yelled like that, but you forgot your case. Well, thank you very, very much. How forgetful of me. Our bank aims to please. I can see that. I think our relationship is destined to be very profitable. See you soon. You know, there's, there's something funny going on here. There, there's definitely something funny going on. You dead burn right there's something funny going on around here, and I'll tell you what it is. As a matter of fact, something hilarious. It's very funny, number one, that I drive off in a wagon that ain't even hitched up. That's <laughs> Now, Dad Bernie, Joe, we gotta get them horseshoes delivered out there at the range somehow. Now, come on, help me. Look. Look, they're going in the hotel. Well, I'll be darned. Now, where'd you reckon they was gonna sleep? On the street? Come on, let's get over there and find out what's going on. Joe, will you, will you stop this nonsense? We gotta get them horseshoes out there at the Now, range. look, I know what I know, and I feel what I feel. Now, I'm gonna go over to that hotel and find out what I can find out. You can either come with me or you can stay here. Thank you. Thanks. Go on over there and keep him busy. Keep him busy doing what? Talk to him, talk to him. I have to talk about the weather or anything. Go on, go on. Hoss, Joe, what can I do for you? Howdy, Bob. Well, I just thought I'd come over and talk to you about the weather. 
The weather? Mm hmm. Well, I hadn't thought about it at all. You, you ain't thought about the weather? No. Well, you men ought to think about the weather once in a while. I bet you ain't even looked out today, have you? No, I can't say I have. What do you think? It uh, looks about average, yeah. I'd say it was about average for this time of year. Keep an eye on it. Quiet, they're in room six. Joe, that's what you should Wouldn't be interested in, uh, in some encyclopedias, maybe, or. or, or... <laughs> no. Now, look, ma'am, you're you're bigger than I am. said room six. You did say room six, didn't you? Yes, I saw it right on the register. Room six. I'm positive. You can go look for yourself. Joseph, did you turn that register around before you looked at that six? Oh, why? Joe, what does a six look like upside down? A nine. Hoss, oh, a nine. Good thinking. Room nine. nine. Let's go. Come on. Joe, don't you think we've gone to enough trouble for nothing? Do you see me quitting because the going gets rough? Hmm? Room nine. It couldn't be better. We've got a fine view of the street. The bank, the mercantile. Yeah. I think this whole thing is working out nice. I can hear him. Listen. Listen. What did you think of that ball? Well, I've seen better and I've seen worse. I say about only one burglar in a hundred could open it. All right. All right. Now, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Joe, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. So, what are we going to do now? We gotta get over to the jail and tell Clay. Yeah. Um, let me get this straight. You say that some fellow named Foot told you that these two strangers are gonna rob the bank. 
No, he did not tell us that they were going to rob the bank. I read it. I read it in this book he wrote. You actually heard these two men say they were going to break into that safe? Well, no, we didn't hear them say it in that exact words, but that's what they meant. Why don't you let me decide what they meant? Just tell me what they said. All right. All right. Now, the one man said that they had a good view of the street and the bank from their window. That's right. And the other fellow said that there wasn't one bank robber in the whole country, not one in a, out of a thousand that could break into that safe, didn't Right, he? right. Is that all? Is that all? Is that all? How much do you need? It's obvious what they plan to do, Glenn. Now, it's your duty to get over to that hotel and arrest them. That's right. Arrest them. For what? Because they've got a good view of the bank from their window. Or, or because they think the bank has a good safe. They haven't done anything. But they are going to do something. They're going to do it. Oh, I'm sure there are lots of people in Virginia City going to do something wrong someday. But I can't arrest them until they do it. And that is your final word, huh? That is my final word. Now, boys, the law is the law. I appreciate your concern. And I'll keep an eye on these two. If they make a move, I'll get them. Well, I think you're making a big mistake, Lim. A big, big, big mistake. And I want you to remember one thing. Remember, remember what they say about an ounce of prevention. The law is my job. I can handle it. And without your help? Oh. Come on, Oops. Now, wait a minute, Joe. After all, he didn't say for sure they was going to rob the bank. A minute ago in there, you said it meant exactly the same thing. Yeah, but maybe you and me is just getting a little hasty. Hasty? Nothing. Clem's making a mistake. A big mistake. Yeah, but I'll tell you this. Clem's the sheriff, and we got to let him do his job. Yeah, that's if he can do the job. And I'm not so sure about that. Now, if that was Sheriff Coffee in there, I'd feel secure. I, I don't think Clem has got the experience. Well, I'll tell you this. We don't get them horseshoes back out to Ponderosa. Me and you are going to have an experience. Hey, I can hey, give hey, you that. Hey, hey, hey. Joe, we gotta get them horseshoes back out. Look, there. those horseshoes are gonna wait. I'm not gonna pants up a chance like this. Chance. Chance. Chance, chapter forge. Right, look, right here. Whiskey, says foot, often loosens the tongue. Now that's right out of foot's mouth. Joe, we well, come on! Just when I do, you understand? I'll do what you do. Let's go. Morning, stranger. Howdy, stranger. We're uh, we're new in town. Mind if we join you for a drink? We're new in town. You mind if we join you for a drink? Well, I'm new here myself. I could use some company over a drink. Oh, fine, thank you. How long have you been in town? Just got in. So do we. We're looking for some work, breaking horses. How about you? Ah, oh, that work's a little too dangerous for me. I like a nice, safe job. Hey, uh, bartender. Got a couple of beers and a bottle of whiskey for my friend here. It's on me. It's on me. Come on, hurry up here. Some thirsty men. Ah, that's more like it. Here, let me, let me pour that for you. That's good whiskey. How about a toast? To an interesting afternoon. To an interesting, interesting afternoon. afternoon. Drink whiskey, my friends drink whiskey too. Uh, that's nice. 
I really... Well, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you something. That bank r really holds a lot of gold. A, tremendous, a tremendous amount of gold. For a newcomer, you sure know your way around. We make, we make it our, our uh, business to know around our way. Well, you know. How long did you say the regular sheriff would be out of town? At least, at least two weeks. Two, at least. Wouldn't you say it? I? Was it about two? Oh, 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 yeah, at least. At least two. And, and it, it isn't, it isn't fair to believe a be beautiful community like this, unprotected by leaving an, an obscurious deputy in, in charge with a big coal shipment coming into this community. When will the gold arrive? By, by the end of the week. Oh, that's tremendous gold. Mm. We should get another bottle, shouldn't we? Oh, thank you, boys. I better be getting along. Oh, come on, don't run off. We'll have another bottle here. I'll be seeing you around. Okay, we, we see you. We see you, stranger. Hey Joe. Yeah. Are you are you sure you you played this whole thing right? I mean, am I sure? Certainly. Certainly I did. I mean am I sure. It, it seems to me like you gave him a whole lot more information than he gave you. Oh um, I love you though. No, 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 I don't you, make no difference. Don't you understand you don't understand the the work workings of the of the criminal mind, you see. Oh. You see what I was doing? I was leading him down the road, oh. slowly gaining information, from uh, him, tricking him slowly, uh, just leading him and leading him, and eventually, as I knew in my heart, he fell for it. Yo. you to go into town and do a simple little errand. Stand up when I talk to you. Yes, sir. It wasn't a very difficult errand, was it? Was it? Oh, was it? No, sir, no, sir. No, sir, it wasn't. And it shouldn't have taken more than about two hours. Am I right? Am I right? Always, always right, Father, always. Evidently, it was not a simple errand. And it did not take two hours. It took 12 hours, and then I had to go into town and bring you back myself. And why did I have to go into town and bring you back myself? Why? Why? Because you told me to keep an eye on little Joe? Because you were drunk. I admit that was the first time it happened, to my knowledge, but that does not make it excusable. And then, when I ask you why I found you in that condition, what was your reply? Well, I... Oh, please! <laughs> How could I possibly forget? You told me that you were drunk because you were trying to capture bank robbers. That's right. That's right, and, and, and there's, gonna, there's a crime about to be committed. Joseph, there is a crime about to be committed. 
And I'm desperately restraining myself from committing at this very instant. You stand up straight when I talk to you. Yes, sir. Now, evidently, I have not been giving you boys enough to do around this ranch. I will remedy that situation starting tomorrow. Yeah, but, 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 nothing! You... Take your hands on me. Now, I am going to bed. And I very seriously advise you two to do the same thing. Because tomorrow is going to be a long, long day. See that chores piling up already for tomorrow. We got work to do. Not till in the morning we don't. Private detectives work at night. Private what? Private detectives, detectives. Joe, look, I don't know about you. I ain't no detective, private, public, or otherwise. Besides, we're in enough trouble with Paul already. That's right. We're in trouble with Paul. But what shape do you think we'd be in with him if we caught ourselves a couple of bank robbers, huh? Joe, you just go ahead and do whatever you want to, but count me out. All right, fine. Fine, forget it. There's a lot of other girls around besides Bessie Sue. <laughs> What's Bessie Sue got to do with this? Well, just suppose you, uh, you caught the men who were about to rob the bank where she worked, perhaps even saving her life? Yeah. Yeah. But, Joe, I, I don't know nothing about this detective in. Of course. Of course, a man with your courage and strength would be wasted in any other field. Yeah? Oh, with your skill, your, your bravery, your knowledge, you could go right to the top. Yeah, probably. No, probably about it, brother. Definitely. Definitely. Let's go, Joe. I'm with you all the way. Joe, how come we got to pile this mud around the bank anyhow? Well, but don't you remember me telling you how, how Inspector Foote caught the criminals because they had clay on their boots? Yeah? Well, anybody who tries to get in the bank is going to have red clay on their boots. Well, yeah, but how come we got to go all the way out to Porcupine Creek to get this mud? All we'd have to do is just pour some water around here, and then there'd be plenty of mud. Well, that, that would that be plain mud. Just ordinary mud. We need something distinguishable. Red clay. We'll be able to see it for miles. We'll know who did it. Yeah. Hey. You know, this detective is kind of interesting. I thought you'd like it. Wait a minute, Joe. You mean I gotta... I gotta spread this mud around here every night until them fellas decide to rob this bank? Hoss, I think it's a small price to pay for your community. Not to mention Bessie Sue. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Get back to work. Don't bother me anymore. I've got a lot of reading to do. Joe, I'm so doggone sleepy after her. Four nights hardly in sleep at all. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, really. Well, go on, eat. eat. you feel better. Eat? I said, Dad, burn weak and tired. I can't even chew, much less eat. Well, it's not going to be much longer. They've got to make their move soon. Well, they better. Because if they don't, I'm going to rob that bank myself so I can start getting some sleep. Well, look, you don't hear me complaining, do you? No. And I don't see you shoveling much of that mud, neither. Well, somebody has to stand watch, right? There ain't a whole lot of watch standing you can do laying up there on top of all them crates snoring. Hey, now, look, I... You were sort of the breakfast table. I thought you had a full day's work ahead of you. Mm. Oh, yeah, we, we, we were just about to get started, Paul. We, we sure didn't want to leave the house without saying goodbye to you. That's all, all right. right. Better get on your way, then. Ooh. Excuse me, Paul. Come on, Russ, we gotta, we gotta finish yeah. work. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, come on in, Clem. Yo. I was over there uh, having breakfast this morning. You managing to stay out of the way of the law? Oh, sure. Yeah, Hoss Hoss and I are just on our way to work. Oh, Hoss. Uh, Hoss, we're, we're, on, a, we're on, our oh. way, on our way to work. Oh, yeah, to work. Oh, hi, Clem. Uh, good, good to see you again. Mm, yeah. Clem, come on in. Have a cup of coffee. 
Morning, Pat. Morning, Clem. Hop saying bring in a fresh cup, will you? Something wrong with Hoss? He looks terrible. I don't know. Been like that the last couple of days. I've been working hard, but it never bothered him before. I ought to go in. Well, I ought to have him go in and see Doc Martin. That's a good idea. Could be just spring fever. Yeah. Well, I know uh, he didn't come all the way out here, Clem, just to inquire after my son's health. What can I do for you? Well, it, it's kind of hard to explain. I'd like you to come to town and have a look yourself. Well, all right. Finish your coffee and we'll go to town. Fine. Well, there it is. The same's out front. It's under both doors and all the windows. Bank manager noticed it the last three, four days. Every morning they clean it up. And the next morning it's back again. Well, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, what kind of idiot would want to pile mud around like this? Well, I don't know. Oh, it must be a bunch of kids playing. Well, I don't think so. Kids break windows right on walls. But somebody went to a whole lot of trouble to tote that much mud in here. They sure did. They sure did. Well, I can't make head or tail. Neither can I. Whatever the scheme is, it's one I've never seen before. Frankly, it's got me worried. Ben, I need your help. Well, all right. What do you what do you want me to do? I was hoping you'd say that. Now, here's what I figured we'd do. It's nice and quiet. Just a little bit longer, and then we'll hit it. I just hope there's half as much money in the bank as that kid said there'd be. There's a lucky break running into him. We might have hit it before the gold shipment arrived. I always knew whiskey was good for something. Well, here's to a profitable evening. Joe, look, I've been thinking. Well, stop thinking. It's all clear. Go get the wagon. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, just think a minute. What's going to happen if nobody's going to rob the bank? What happens if nobody robs it? In a month, me and the bank both are going to be up to our necks in mud. Now, look, how many times have I had to tell you to... Shh. I thought I heard something. Share the glory with a man who wouldn't even believe us in the first place. Besides, besides, while we're over there getting Clem, they might get away. Yeah, but Joe, no, no. There's only one thing we can do. You've got to rush him. Wait, wait, Joe, wait. Now, now when I count to three, hit that door. Ready? One, two, three. Get the light lit. Get the dealer. I'll break it. I'll break it. Of course. Don't, don't, don't break it. Hi, Paul. You're sitting on me. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Just be quiet. Look, 
sorry and walk straight to the jailhouse. Hey, move! Quiet! Hand me your guns. Hand me your guns. Before you make another mistake and shoot your father. I'll be along in a minute. I'll have to fix this door. Keep moving out of the jail. Could have been us. Those are the two drifters I was talking to in the saloon the other day. That deputy's a little bit smarter than I figured. What do we do? Let's go back to the hotel. I'll figure something out. Oh, we're, we're so so sorry, sorry about your eye. Yeah. It begins to make a little bit of sense. It all begins to make some sense now. You two were the ones who slopped that mud all around the bank, weren't you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we slopped a little mud around. Why in heaven's name did you do that? Why? Well, uh, well you, you see, we, we were going to catch, catch the bank robbers, uh, because they, they would have the mud on their boots if, the, if they robbed the bank, and then we, we'd know it was them. See, it's, it, it's all right, right here in the book, chapter 14. Put that book away. Paul, we didn't think that we were... That's right. You're absolutely right, Hoss. You didn't think. But you are going to have time to think. You are going to have time to think. Clem! I want you to keep these two in here for some time. You uh, sure that's what you want, Ben? I've never been so sure of anything in my life. Never. Now, boys, I'm going to go home. And I'm going to sit in front of that beautiful fireplace. And I'm going to try to figure out where I went wrong as a father. Joseph? That's the last time I'm going to ever listen to you. Boss, I never told you it would be easy being a detective. A detective? Joseph, we ain't detectives. We're prisoners. Hop Singh? Mr. Cartwright, Hop Singh heat dinner one time. Hop Singh heat dinner again, again, and again. Start out with a roast dish to bake, now roast is dish to bake. You not come home for dinner on time, Hop Singh no cook. What happened to your eye? Never mind what happened to my eye. I am in no mood to listen to your troubles. I have enough of my own. Now, just be good enough to serve me my dinner, please. Where, Mr. Hoss, little Joe? Hoss and Joe are in jail. All right. In jail? Hopsin, go get wagon. We go to town, we get them out. I have no intention of going into town. I have no intention of getting them out. I have just finished putting them in. And don't ask me why. But Mr. Hoss get hungry in jail. He used to have sing cooking. Then he'll have to get used to the cooking in jail. Now, serve me my dinner, please. I think I was putting them into jail to starve them to death or something, the way he carries on. Being in jail will be good for him. Thank you, Hop Singh. Hop Singh, I'm in no mood for any jokes. Just bring the roast. Bread, water, good enough for son? 
Bread, water, good enough for father. Look out, they're all you gotta do. Come tell him, He's right. He's right, he's right, he's right. Should get him out of there. Well, I will. That's the last time. The last time. Nothing moving at all since that fellow left the sheriff's office. Yeah, nothing moving now. But I don't want to start cracking that safe and having the deputy walk in on me. With them all spooked up about those drifters trying to rob the bank, he just might do it. Wait a minute. What would happen if those two drifters were to break out of jail? Well, how could they? They might just have a friend who would help them. So they bust out. And the next morning, the law finds out the bank has been robbed. And the posse takes out after them. And we sit here and count the money until we're ready to take the stage to San Francisco. Beautiful. can get 10 years in jail for trying to rob a bank like that. But you don't understand. We didn't we, get... we, we did We didn't get anything. You got caught. That's all it takes. They'll throw the book at you. Oh, yeah? Well, you wait till we get out of yeah, here. Oh, look, if we could only get out of here. Come on, give us, give us a break and let us out. What do you think, Sims? Well, they did me a good turn once. Why not? Oh, all right. They're just a couple of poor drunks anyway. Now, you take my advice and get out of town just as fast as you can. You bet you. Oh, I'll take your advice, mister. Thanks. Thanks a lot. You work that out. See how Clint is. He's all right. He's going to sleep well. Let's go. That banker wasn't fooling when he said they had up-to-date equipment. This one will take at least three minutes. here and jump him when he come out. All right. Clem? Here. Well, I think maybe the boys have had enough time to think of... Clem? What the heck happened to him? Oh, somebody knocked on the door. I went out to see who it was. That's all I remember. Well, come have a look at this. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Is it all right? Oh, I'm all right. Wait a minute. My son. The last time I saw them, they were in this cell. They were saying something about the bank. The bank? The bank. The bank. Fine, you all right? Yeah, a little tougher than I thought. Didn't figure on four of them. Get inside, get a light. We'll see what we got here. Right. Oh, we got you. We've done it. Oh, yeah, good. Good. Oh. Oh. 
testify at the hearing. Well, that's the last bank those two will break into for some time. Thanks to you. Well, it's it's all in a day's work, Clem. Uh, Clem, I must say, I'm, uh, I'm proud of these two boys. Thanks, Paul. I uh, don't always agree with their methods, but uh, it's the results that count. Well, thanks again, boys. Call on us anytime, Clem. Feel free. Well, Boys, uh, ready to go along home? Paul, uh, Paul. Oh, oh. You know, since we, since we did such a good job, and you're so proud of us, right? Well, we were thinking maybe that you might, uh, you might give us a day off. How about? It? Well, shucks. I think you've earned it. Sure. Hey, thank you. See you back home. Right. Thanks, Paul. We'll see you. Watch yourself riding. Yeah, take it easy, Paul. I don't see you get hurt. Some week, ain't it? Yeah, it has. I must say, I'm glad to see it over. Now all I want's a nice cold beer and a nice little Hold piece it. of soft music, huh? Hey, look over there. See the fellow walking in the livery stable? Yeah, what about him? I'd swear I saw him on one of the posters in Clem's office. I didn't get a good look at him, but I think that might be him. Now, the important thing to do is to spread out, spread out. Inspector Foote said, don't make yourself an easy target. Spread out. All right, now, I want you to go on around the back. As soon as I know you're ready, I'll go in the front. Pause. Hey, huh? Huh? Chapter 14. How to work alone. <laughs> 